about to start the dwarf noble origin story of Nixamus. Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Ozimar, the larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. That's right. The proud dwarven Ozimar city of Ozimar. was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Orzammar's impregnable construction, the Dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Hmm. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace. Huh. But the appearance of honor is paramount. That's right. Honor! You are the second child of King Endron of House Iduken. Ah, I'm a prince. The ninth Iduken ruler elected by the noble assembly. Nice. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue Tuh, and have politics. struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Uh -huh. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission. Nice! The opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of dwarven politics. Tuh. A feast Greetings, in my, my name. Nice. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. Thank you. Look at my armor. It's pretty nice. I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Cool. Do you wish to wear your shield to the noble's feast? Hmm. Well, obviously this guy is a friend of mine, since he's just kind of casually talking to me. Let's see. And this is where, um, it's a little different from Mass Effect. It doesn't have the wheel. Uh, it actually has just, it presents you multiple choices here that you can choose from. But your character doesn't talk. So he doesn't actually say them out loud like Commander Shepard did in Mass Effect. Um, he's a silent protagonist. So while you may choose these, um, they'll immediately respond. So you won't actually have to wait for your character to talk or anything. So let's see. Let them see me as a warrior. Better safe than sorry shield me. I don't want to look fearful. Well, I mean, he d he's not going to be using a shield, but he can understand it's like for a ceremonial thing. But he'll use a sword and dagger regardless. So... Uh, I'll just say, yes, better than uh, better than safe than sorry. Shield, go ahead and shield me. Certainly, you'll cut an imposing picture out there. Huh. Of course, if every other noble has a shield and three swords, you'll feel awfully underdressed. <laughs> you, my friend, are ridiculous. One can't take all this marching about and speech making too seriously. Yes, that's true. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. Oh, okay. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. Huh, <laughs> really? Hmm. <laughs> uh, what sort of grievances? The usual. This lord had my cousin killed. This lord seduced my wife. <laughs> this lord did the exact thing I'd planned to do to him, but he did it first. <laughs> They pose and bluster, and each pretends he is the honorable man in a den of thieves and assassins. Tuh. Bah. The rest is worth seeing, though. Huh. As part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Uh huh. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Uh huh. Perhaps we should go show them what single combat is really all about. Huh. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> I'll practice my cheering. Oh, come now. Uh, oh, look, his name is Gorham. Proving sounds appealing. Finding each other peaceful. Why don't you want to fight in the Provings, Gorham? You remember last year's open proving? It took your father's smith six hours to remove my helmet. Tuh. I'm not meant for single combat. Oh, come I now. I fight as my lord's second in shield. That's enough for me. Aw, uh, thanks. So right off the bat, we're it's like, okay, this guy's a very good friend of ours. He's my second. He's pretty much my, my good friend and my bodyguard. Uh, watches over me. Takes care of me. The proving sounds... Uh, you know what? Let's go see the merchants. Right behind you, my lord. The day is ours until the feast. Nice. And here we go. The interface right off the bat. The top left there you can see is my portrait. Represents me. The red bar is my health. Yellow bar is my stamina. Um, here on the bottom right, you can see this is where I have my I can put six abilities to use. Uh, on the PC version, you could have many more on the on the straight bottom. And on the top right, you can see is my mini map. Flex where I'm looking. All right, so let me show you guys something right off the bat here. Now this is the this is where I can pull up my map. This is where you can find quests and such. 
So here's some, yeah, this is showing, oh, you got some DLC stuff, yeah. This is where com complete quests, this is the codex that Bioware loves to do to give you guys lore, uh, conversation history, heroic accomplishments, downloadable content. All right, so, all right. Now, here is my inventory screen. And as you can see, uh, you can choose from weapons, armor, accessories, usable items, crafting, other, plot items, junk. So there's a lot of stuff here. And uh, you can see that stuff that's kind of faded out is not, I'm not able to equip it right now. Some of these, yeah, are, are uh, items that I got for completing some of the other DLC stuff, such as those ones I showed you in part at the beginning at the uh, menu screen, such as this. Uh, you get this for doing uh, complete, I think, the Liliana's song DLC. But, uh, so, so, yeah, Dragon Bone Cleaver. So it requires 38 strengths. So you have to build up your stats before you can even equip these. So I have a small shield and long sword equipped. Let's go ahead and um, equip a dagger in my second hand. There we go. All right, now, normally I would have these Dwarven Noble armored stuff. But these are some items I got. Uh, the Lion's Paw. So it's a nice, uh, it's, it's certainly better than the regular Dwarven Noble Armor. And here's a, a nice helmet, Helm of the Deep, uh, which is kind of fitting for the Dwarf because it represents their legion uh, that fights in the Deep Roads. Here's some other eye armor pieces that you can't wear yet. This is definitely for our Warriors 38 Strength, the Blood Dragon Armor Plate. Battle Dress of the Provocator, only 20 strength required, so it's a pretty good all-around set. And then this is for Mage, Vestments of the Seer. Um, and then here are some of the accessories you can equip. Um, for a Dwarf Rogue, uh, that's not good. Uh, that's meant for Mages. This is the High Regard of House Dace. It's kind of fitting because it, it boosts your cunning. And it um, is kind of meant for Dwarves because it's referencing a house, a Dwarven house. The Lucky Stone, plus one to all attributes, that's really good. Amulet to the War Mage, so this can be equipped to a mage to increase all the damage for that, for elemental stuff. A Feral Wolf Charm, uh, health regeneration while exploring, it's uh, it's okay. Mark of Vigilance, Resistance and Defense. Uh, as you can see, Sash of Forbidden Secrets, Willpower, Spell Power, Blood Magic, so it's definitely meant for a mage. Uh, Guildmaster's Belt, uh, Cunning, Monetary Gain, and Dodge Attack, so we'll go ahead and equip that. Uh, many Pockets, just Resistance, pretty much. A Dalish Promise Ring, uh, Health Regeneration in Combat, Hostility, Band of Fire, Constitution, Fire Resistance, that's so good, that's pretty good. Wicked Oath, Armor Penetration, Stamina Regeneration, Critical Backstab, that's simply fitting for Rogue, but here's, but here's one I want to... I like it says here this memory band here it boosts experience points by one percent so that is really good uh, anything that can increase the amount of experience points you get is extremely handy um, this and this is something else that boosts all your attributes by one but uh, I do like the uh, boost cunning and uh, increase monetary gain uh, so we'll go ahead and have this set equipped here so yeah there's a ton of stuff that you can get Here's a, a tome here. This uh, gives the reader one point to spend on a skill, but is rendered useless afterwards. So we'll go ahead and use that. And so right off the bat, I can get I can get another skill here. I can put it into another skill point. Boop! Dexterity. And then I can get coercion again. Very nice. So right off the bat, I doubled I got the two of the coercion skill. So I'm gonna be very silver tongue to be able to do very well in conversations pretty much this is the status effects screen uh showing your health and, and your stamina um how are you doing with your attributes your uh, resistances what kind of resistance you can put up for different types of uh, uh damage and attacks you get it's really really good the fatigue though right there yeah that's uh if you put on heavier armor it uh brings down your fatigue um, fatigue, wearing armor causes fatigue, which is percentage increase of the basic mana or stamina cost to activate a spell or a talent. So yeah, that can be a detriment, but, uh, it can, but it may not be that much of a difference. And you guys saw the skills earlier. Talents. This is also, by the way, here where you can set up your tactics. Um, 
And right now, the scrapper is kind of the uh, default for a rogue, especially one who uses a weapon in each hand. Now, oh, Codex, Orzammar Politics, Auto Saving, Dwarven Faith, The Noble's Feast, I got a quest. So yeah, it's auto saving. It'll do that sometimes. Just it'll just auto save automatically. Now, as you can see, the things that are sparkling here, that means they're either lore items or they're stuff with loot. So this vanity, ah, oh, five, uh, yeah, a bit. This is the basic unit of currency. So five bits, a crystal. This really contains an image of the city of Orzammar. Ah, oh, it's like one of those snow globes. A chest. This is a ton of stuff. Various different items and such. I can sell some of these at, uh, when I get to a merchant. A bust of King Endrin. Like I said, with when it comes to Bioware, you're going to get a ton of lore. So let's let's take a look at what's going on with uh, who is this King Endrin Idukin, Since he is my father. Denial of the traditions of our people does not qualify as a political technicality. Endrin of House Idukin traces his ancestry back to the Paragon Idukin, the greatest warrior of Orzammar's history, who beat back the darkspawn hordes in the first blight. The second son of King Ansgar Idukin, he became heir after his elder brother died in approving. The most respected king in four generations, he restored contact with Kal Sharak, the only other remaining city of the once vast dwarven empire which had been lost during the first blight. Very, very nice. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, the city of Orzammar. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and uh, slowly scroll down in case you guys want to read that yourself. Orzammar politics. My gosh. Like I said, when it comes to Bioware games, they love to uh, give their lore. Dwarven faith. They're not very religious. They just, you know, you know. They believe in uh, returning to the stone, as they say, when they die. Things like that, so. Okay, so I got my buddy Gorm with me. And you can actually uh, do the same thing with uh, this kind of stuff. You can do the same thing with your companions. So you can see here, Gorum, he's got a shield, his own shield and sword. He's got his own armor set. Huh. Let's, keep, let's keep him with the same set. All right. I don't really want to give him these because... He's not going to be with be with us the whole time. And if I leave him with stuff and he goes, he'll keep it. Orzammar History Chapter 1. The cool thing about finding all these lore entries, you get experience points. So it's not just, oh man, oh it's just a bunch of lore. It, it's important to find the lore, anything that has lore, because they give you experience points. And it, so that will help you level up even faster. I am proud. Third the I do. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Trian's room, so I can't go in there because it shows that it's locked and there's no way to lock to pick the lock. Even if I try. Sadly yeah. not. Yeah, see, key required. A servant. Ancestors, watch over you, my lord. Thank you, thank you. My lord Balin. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, I'm, I am so wait. sorry. Wait, 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 come back, come back. You don't have to run away. A letter. A letter from Rika. What is that? My dearest Prince Balin, you are too kind to me. I am a small and insignificant thing, and I do not deserve your attention, but your willingness to tolerate my presence shows you to be a prince among men. I cannot thank you enough for the beautiful necklace you presented to me. I will cherish it always, and I promise I will wear it at our next meeting. I know my gratitude means nothing to you, but I must say again, thank you. I will always be your humble and devoted servant. Yours truly are. Huh. Maybe I'm guessing this is Rika. House I Duke and Shield of Orzammar. Mistress. Ah, you can see. Now you see that symbol there? That means I can pick this. I can pick the lock. And and if I pick locks, I get experience points. So it really does pay off to be a rogue and be able to pick locks. Hello, my hello, my lady. Before I talk to her, let's go ahead and just get a manual to save in here. I'm sorry. Huh. It's covering I her face. I Prince Balin coming down the hall. I... 
forgive me. Pr Prince Balin. I'm guessing that's one of my brothers. Hmm. Doing here in my brother's quarters. She's, uh, it seems she's one of your brother Balin's newest, um, companions. Oh, Prince Balin those, is attending huh? the feast being held in Lord Iduken's honor. Yes, of, of course. <laughs> it was presumptuous of me to think that he would return to... I am There's sorry. There's no need to apologize. I will show myself out with your leave, There's no need Lord. to apologize. It's all right. Let's see, uh... Hmm. Yes, you may go. Thank you. I will go now. I'll say that kind of politely rather than, Eh, go say I don't care. That kind of sounds mean. So I'll just say, yes, you may go. As You know, just being polite. Yes, uh, Niximus is... He's a gentleman. He, he's... He's a gentleman, especially to women. He's he's not sexist or anything. He doesn't put women down or anything. Congratulations on being named commander, my lamb at your service. He also has a personal issue with this whole Today, idea Lord of uh, of castless being uh, even worthy of being considered real people. But we'll get more into that later. All right, so the feast is that way, and that's where my final destination is to be. So let's make our way out of the palace to the diamond quarter. Towards where all the merchants are. Life in Orzammar. Your father wow. has allowed the merchants to show their wares in the Diamond Quarter during these celebrations. Uh huh. Wow, look at this place. Is that magma or lava? Huh. Molten rock? Wow. Look at this. This is all underground. A vast dwarven city. Deep under underground. This is pretty cool. Royal Guard. A scholar. I'm sure we can work this out reasonably. It's in the records. There's nothing I can do. What's going on here? Please, Master Volney. My work is accredited by the Shaper. These books are lies written by the enemies of House Volney. I write only what I find in the ancient records. Lord Iduken, you can vouch for my work, can't you? Your father loved my history of Iduken, Paragon King, Peacemaker. Hmm. Uh, Gorham, does this scholar truly have my father's favor? The king, as well as several other lords, are quite fond of his work. Are they now? of the ancient paragons. Huh. This worm has written a book that slanders my house. Really? That's a serious charge. He deserves to die for what he has written of Paragon Volney. Well, tell me, tell me what it says. What it, tell me what it says, scholar. My work tells the stories of all those raised to paragons in the last 500 years. When the assembly names a paragon, that man or woman is then, by definition, Everything one can aspire to be in the world. Huh. They form their own noble houses and are revered as living ancestors. But paragons start off as men. Volney was more than a man. Huh. Hmm. So what was I do I, I Dukin like before he was a paragon? I Dukin was much loved, but he was still a man. He was plagued by melancholy, and his fervor regarding Orzammar's safety bordered on obsession. When Idukin was proposed as a paragon, only one lord in the assembly objected. The others savagely hacked him to death. Yikes! Idukin's motion passed without a single dissenting vote. Huh. Unlike Volney, is that what you mean, old man? Volney became a paragon by the narrowest margin in history. One vote. Wow. A vote mired in rumors of intimidation, intrigue, and outright bribery. Huh. The records of that vote are kept in the shape of it and are a matter of fact. Huh. Not liking history doesn't make it any less true. That is true. That is very true. So, so he's saying. So the reason this guy's upset is because he's pretty much saying the fact that uh, he may have become a paragon only because there was uh, treachery and blackmailing and bribery and things like that. You know, the scholar is right. You're taking his side. What if he published a book like this about your paragon, I Duke? Huh. Well, he already said how great of a man he was. And the truth is more important than your pride. Whoa! Oh, it glitched. Ugh. 
Excuse me, your highness. There we go. That fool has no idea how weak his house is or how low he sits in it. Huh. Shall I have him killed, my lord? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's no need to resort to something like that, Gorum. Uh, he's, he's not worth, uh, hmm. What do you think, scholar? Well, historically, it has been prudent to eliminate a small threat before it becomes larger. Yeah, Gorham doesn't think he's that big of a threat, though. I'm not that prudent. Let the poor fool live. As you say. <laughs> You've shown House Idukin a friend to research, history, and the glory of our people. Hmm. Let's see. Carry on with your work, scholar. Of course. I have much to document and organize. Good day, your highness. And thank you. You're welcome. It's good to be the king. I'm, I'm sorry, it's good to be the prince. Maybe future king. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't help it. I couldn't resist. Thank you, Mel Brooks. <laughs> The finest in home decorations! Ah, uh, no thanks. Ah, uh, my I've seen Prince Balin Iduken himself wearing a robe made of something quite similar. So I pay your exorbitant price, only to end up looking like a poor imitation of Prince Balin. <laughs> You'll get no coin from me. Huh. But that's not what I meant, my lord. My lord! The Paragon? Huh. Why search? The ancestors have risen her up to join them. You don't think she's still out there? Impossible. Hmm. I wonder who they could have been talking about. Let's talk to the merchants. My lord Idukin. Hello. You honor me by visiting my humble booth. May I show you my wares? Hmm. Of course, good merchant. Please, look as you will. A bunch of stuff I can just go ahead and sell. Let's go ahead and sell these. I already have a dagger. Sell these. I might sell some of these. I'm not sure yet. Wow, you could get 20 gold for selling that. Well, I have someone in mind for that, so. Sell that. I never use those. I've never used those at all when playing this game. Never. I probably never will. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What about this merchant? Nothing beats a good set of steel cutlery. Hmm. I trust follow, big oh. brother. Oh, these are my How brothers. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Huh. Especially since duty requires that you attend our king father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours, at least. Silence! Hey! If I want the opinion of my sibling second, I will ask for it. Yes, your highness. Hey! Yeah, don't talk, don't speak to Gorm like that. I speak to lower houses and castes as they should be spoken to. Now do as I say! Yeah, he doesn't, yeah. Nixmus does not agree with this, uh, this idea of... You know that they're lower, that they're uh, lower than us, that they should be talked down to like that. Hmm. Balin, you want to jump in here? You're on your own. I've been dealing with him all afternoon. Huh. What exactly is that supposed to mean, little brother? <laughs> uh, nothing, Trian. I've been having a great time. The speech you <laughs> gave to the nothing, legless boy nothing. about hard work and making something of himself was fantastic. Oh gosh! As I told that to a throne, legless boy. It is my duty oh, to impart wisdom wow. and judgment upon those who need it. No, then you get to the feast. Wow, my older brother's a jerk. He's next in line for the throne. Good lord, <laughs> help us all. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Kiss my butt, Trian. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's funny you can tell him that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I will go when I am ready. I'm not ready yet. Stubborn, aren't you? When I'm king, I will help you get over that. We'll see. Come, Balin. We'll see. That was fun. Nothing like being talked down to by the next king. Eh, he's my older brother. I'm, sh I'm sure he's been doing it to me since I since we were toddlers. <laughs> he means well. You always defend him. I wish I had your understanding. He's my brother. He's family. And you'll never go. You never go against the family. <laughs> I'm 
armor merchant. My lord, I do can. Nothing here rivals your amazing I do can armor, but if you wish something made. You know very well how Saidukin has its own royal armorers. Of course. Forgive me. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, let me, show me your wares anyway, merchant. You honor me, your highness. Let me uh, at least see what he has. Okay, he's got these shields. Got some regular armor. He's got metal shards. Okay. All right. Look at this piece, darling. It rivals even the work of the Paragon Smith herself. Nonsense, woman. Your words bring shame upon our house. See how the edges are rough and pitted? Would you compare this to Bronca's work? Trust a woman to speak of things she doesn't understand. Oh, gosh. May the ancestors deliver Bronca back safely. Jeez. What about that one? I doubt he's up to the task. I'm not going down that road again. Hello. Oh, I would love to end up with a red head. Would that Sir Blackstone were a noble, hmm? Stand up straight. They're coming. Hello. Who are, who are these two? What have we here? Two handsome, strapping noble lords. <laughs> you both look so great. Well, thank you, ladies. And isn't this the man of the hour, the king's son? <laughs> Who's your friend, my lord? Another noble from the honored house I do in? <laughs> no, th uh, this is Sir Gorham of the warrior caste. Oh, then not a noble? No, Telly, not a noble. Stone your thick sometimes. <laughs> Why do you care if Gorm is noble? They're noble hunters, my lord. They're what? A man takes his caste from his father, and these women hope to bear a noble lord's son. Oh! If one is successful, she's raised up to concubine in the noble house to care for her child. Oh, really? It provides new sword arms for the house, and many nobles look favorably on such women. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> so it sounds like a good deal to me. Shall I come to your chambers after the ceremony? Then? Oh my! I talked to him first. I want him. <laughs> He's looking for a woman, Telly, not a little girl. Oh! I'm Marty, and I know how to give my lord a night he'll remember. Oh, uh, remember that scene where Liara and Ashley were fighting over me in Mass Effect? Remember my response? I got to say, I love it when when two women fight over me. <laughs> that same thing here. I love it when women fight over me. <laughs> you can even say, do I really have to pick just one? <laughs> uh, let's, all right. Uh, that's, then let's do that. No fear, Telly. Many nobles will fancy a younger girl. Huh. I will see you when the ceremony ends, my lord. I'll see you then. And there is a reason, there actually is another reason why I, I chose to go that way. It pans out later on in the game. Uh, in a way you pr may not expect... But uh, it's pretty interesting. So, so yeah, you'll see. You'll see how it pays up, pays off later on. Invest in the next great trade expedition. Maybe I will. Ooh, a weapon merchant. Let's see if there's anything Greetings, I can get. Greetings, my lord. I do get. I am Greetings, merchant. so honored to have you visit my booth. I have a proposition, but I dared not approach. It's okay. Yet you dare now. Oh, uh, Gorum, Gorum, try to be more friendly. Very well, then. Speak. Um, yes. Just so. Here's the thing. What I mean to say is... But calm down. It's all right. It's all right. I'm not, I'm not a jerk like my brother. I'm, I'm nice. It's all right. Sorry. So nervous. I had a dagger made oh. for you as a gift for your first command. A dagger as a I gift? I sent a messenger to deliver the dagger to you. Uh-huh. Prince Trian had him thrown oh. out. I don't know what offense he caused, but I had him beaten severely. Oh, you shouldn't. You didn't have to do that. Ah, Trian. Oh man. Uh, may I see the stagger? Here, here it is, Your Highness. That's an amazing piece, Merchant. Really? You do me much honor, sir. The blade has been crafted over a period of two years by masters of every art. Really? I wish to bless the Lord's first command, and hope that someday, when he rules, he will wear oh, it. Oh, thank you. I'm honored. Tree and his heir. He will rule when King Endrin returns to the stone. What does that assembly the wills it? Forgive me, sir, but whispers say the second child of Endrin will be chosen. Really? Whispers indeed. It's a princely gift. If Trian recognizes it, though, it may send the wrong message. There's a rumor the that... the right one, depending on your view. So there's a rumor that the, the assembly may choose me over my older brother to be the next king? Really? That's interesting. 
Hmm. So, so Trian could be offended by it. But he put two years of work into this dagger. And it's a gift for me. Hmm. I'll take the dagger. Thank you. You bring uncountable honor to You're me. You're very welcome. What he means is that you'll bring uncountable gold to him if you wear that piece in public. Regardless. Let's see it. Let's see how it, how it is. A noble's dagger. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's it's yeah, it's a, it's a little better. Electricity damage. Ooh. Now check this out. When I put it on, look at this. It's surging with power, with electricity. Yes. <laughs> Only the freshest food for your noble table. Food. Most exotic wares in Orzammar. A magic merchant. What the heck is he doing here? Lord Idukin, here in my It's a booth? bit surprising. I am so. Oh. He fainted. <laughs> He's fainted. You make quite the impression these days. Uh, is it hard to be the king's child, never able to just blend in? I hate it. I just wanted to talk to him. Oh my gosh, I'm just. Ah. Uh, uh. There will be plenty of talk at the noble feast, though a less pleasant sort. Shall we move along? Niximus does get a little tired of the way that people just constantly treat him like that. You know, he just see he doesn't think it, it should be. Oh my gosh, it's him! It's him! He they just like. Can people at least just treat me normal just once in a while? Just, just you know, stop putting me up on a pedestal like that. That's just how he feels sometimes. 